Hi, this is Brittany with Beauty Authority and we're going to be doing a Living Dead Girl makeup on my friend Nicole today. So first off, we're going to start with doing a light base of a white um, face paint color to give her kind of a washed out look. But not too washed out, we don't want her to look like a ghost, so it's going to be really light. So we're just going to dab on her sponge just a little bit of the white makeup and we're going to go across her face really quickly so that we're not getting it too light. And with this Living Dead Girl makeup, you, you know, you kind of want to follow your basic makeup tips, like as far as eyeliner and lip liner and stuff. You don't want to get her, you know, like too Halloween decked out where she looks like she's just covered in face paint. So we're just going to do a little cover up here with this white. And then we might go over it with a little bit of a gray tone to kind of cool it down even a little bit more. And if she's going to be wearing a dress, we're going to want to blend this into her neck as well. Not too much though, because obviously she's not going to be able to blend it completely down into her dress on her arms and everything, so this is going to be done fairly light. So as you can see, she's just got a really light hue to her face. Not too bad. So it's able to be blended down into her neckline without looking too, like a too much of a difference. All right, so once we've got that face on, the next thing we're gonna do is do kind of a more of a darker eyeshadow and a darker brow. So we're going to just take a basic makeup brush and go ahead and lightly tap it into like a, a black or a dark gray color. Go and close. And we're going to just kind of go over her eyelid here, blending. We don't want it to be too dark. Just kind of blend it in here. All over the lid. We're going to do the other side. And with these dark colors, it's really important that you just keep blending so that there's not lines. Almost like what you do with like a smoky eye look. Okay, and then we're going to go with like a bright white for the highlight color. And even if you wanted to use your white face paint makeup, you could. Um, just to give it that extra highlight. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do a little bit still of that light eye base color. It's very shimmery too, so we'll just kind of lightly go here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to darken her eyebrows up a little bit. You can go ahead and use the face paint because you want it to be pretty dramatic. So we're going to go through with a black face paint on her brows with a small brush. And just we want to do that for mainly like the intensity of it. You want to make sure you keep it right in the brow so that it's not too dark or too wide. Turn it down a little bit. Okay. Then to give her kind of more of that zombie effect, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use a red eyeliner. And we're back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a white highlight on her lid and then a dark liner and a red bottom lid. And this is going to kind of give that zombie like red eye effect and if you want to make it more intense you can get those white contacts which will really make it really zombie like um, so I'm just going to show you what I would do with a white highlight and the dark and the red so you're going to take your small brush again and you're going to dip it in your white paint lightly you don't want to use too much of this face paint on the eye itself so it's going to be very light go ahead and close 
and you're gonna go across the lid with like a highlight. And you can also do, if you don't have the face paint, you can do this with a white eyeliner. Just sometimes it's nice to get the face paint because it gives it more of an intense effect. We're going to go across the other lid. And it doesn't have to be a whole lot. So it doesn't take a lot of white to make the eye stand out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the black to line the eye, right underneath the white. Again, what I'll probably do is go over it with like a black eyeliner, but doing the black paint, it'll make it a little more intense. And then we're going to let that dry. And then we might go back over it again with a black eyeliner. Then she's going to go ahead and open and we're going to do the bottom. And this is actually like a red lip pencil. But what we're going to do is we're really going to like blend it into her lash line so that it stays. It's best to use like a, something that's a cosmetic under the eye because red pigment sometimes can cause irritation. And if this happens to you with any of the liner going close, getting in to the upper lid, then go ahead and just use a Q-tip or a sponge and blend it. So this really gives her more of that like zombie effect with the red. The red's probably the key in this makeup. All right. So now that we've got her red liner done, now what we're gonna do is really get her a good, nice cheekbone with some red face paint. So you're gonna wanna take your face paint kit, blend some red in it, we're really going to give her a good red cheek. And red goes a long way, so you don't need much at all. So when we put a little bit on, what we're going to want to do is blend. I want to do a lot of blending. And this is going to be more intense than any like red color, red normal blush that you'd buy but you don't need very much at all. It just needs to be very light on your sponge. Wipe some off if you have to and blend it. Otherwise, it's gonna look like clown makeup, which you don't want. If you need a little more, add little dabs. Okay, now that we've got her blended with her blush. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make her have a pale lip, which you're gonna use a little bit of your white again. So we're gonna dab over her mouth. And we're gonna make her look like she has kind of a bloody lip. So we're gonna take our lip liner pencil again, and we're just gonna kind of draw on her mouth especially here at the bottom. We don't want to draw outside our lip line really. So we want this to kind of look purposefully done. So we're going to blend this down into her lip line. But then what we're going to do is apply some fake blood. So now that we've got her lip here, that looks like it's bleeding. So what we can do now is that we've got kind of that base there. We can add some fake blood so that it looks like it's bleeding. 
So I'm just going to do just a little bit on the bottom lip. Got our blend together. And this, whoop, sorry. Got it on our shirt. This stuff kind of is a little bit runny, so you, you kind of want to blend it together. And then you got more of the effect done. That's how we would create a zombie. <laughs> Living Thank dead you. girl. Living dead girl. <laughs> Thank you.